What's going on guys, Victor here. In today's fillet demo, I'm gonna show you how to fillet up this California halibut right here. Eight inch Dexter flexible fillet. Real important to have a flexible knife when dealing with halibut because they got a pretty thin spine and you really wanna be able to contour to the fish. So I'm gonna show you guys a very easy way to approach this fish because it's not the easiest fish to fillet. So you gotta think of a halibut as kind of having like four quadrants, right? So you got your top one, your bottom one, and it's the same thing on, other si on the other side. So you're basically making four separate fillets. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna picture there's an imaginary line running down the center of this halibut, going from here, from the gill, all the way to the tail. I'm gonna go right here, right down the middle of the tail, and I'm gonna just follow this directly down the middle to this peck fin right here all the way to the spine until you can kind of hear your knife running down alongside it. I'm going to flay this thing from the inside out. So if you look right here, I'm on the backbone, right? Right along the fish's midsection. What I want to do is I want to think about flaying this fish from the inside out. So I want to angle my knife slightly along the spine and just peel this meat back. If you kind of envision it, you guys see how I'm kind of peeling it back and I'm just going to continue to do this with slow strokes. This is not a race. I know that there's a lot of videos of guys flaying halibut real fast, but you're here to learn. We're not showing off, right? So I'm going to continue to do this. And the more you reveal, the easier it's going to be because you're going to be able to get your knife at a more of a, a shallow angle. And then just continue to do this. You see how I'm really able to rest the knife flatter and flatter and flatter from the inside out. What I'm also going to do here, I'm going to come right here around the head and just go down there. It'll help me out. Once again, just from the inside out. Now I can kind of start to lift this up. Okay, so we freed up pretty much most of this now. Now we're just gonna have to separate it right here on the outside. You see how that folds back real nicely? And now you can really picture why you'd want a flexible knife. Watch that, look at that. See how that just folded off real nicely? So you see, I started out in the middle and I just made ever so slightly more and more release that meat, that fillet, to just reveal the spine. And once I got there, I was able to get my knife flatter and flatter and go from the inside out of the fillet. So that's probably gonna be your hardest part of this entire process, okay? I'm gonna flip this halibut around and I'm gonna do the same thing, but this side is gonna be much easier. This side's gonna be much easier for us because we don't have this side in the way. So once again, tip of my knife down, other side of this backbone, and just start to separate. You can see how flat I can get my knife now too. Oh, try not to go too much into the guts like I just did. Now we're gonna cut right here on the outside. And I try not to get too much of this fin cartilage right there. Okay, just like that. And real quickly, I'm gonna knock away this little section of belly because I don't wanna taint the rest of my meat. So we got a little bit of guts, but that's okay. Okay. Now you guys can see, here's the top half, completely separated from the spine. Here's the bottom half. Here's our bottom loin. Here's our top loin. So now you can really picture what we did right there, okay? It's super easy to work from the inside out. So when you're on the belly side of the fish, nature provides its own path right there. So now you don't have to guess where that center line is. I can take my knife and I can follow right down 
the center of this halibut and it's letting me know exactly where to cut. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing. And if you prefer to go from the inside out to the shoulder half, the inside out to the belly half, whatever you're more comfortable with or whatever your leverage allows you to do, do that. Flaying is a very subjective thing. There's objective rules, but the feeling of having a knife in your hands and approaching a fish is you know, completely up to you. So you guys see, once again, I'm lifting up and I'm going from the inside out ever so slightly. I'm not making huge, huge strokes. I'm taking my time. I'm gonna make this head cut right here. That way we can free it up right there around the peck fin so we can free that. And there's just something so satisfying about these fish being filleted from the inside out. And you just take your time to do a good job. Okay, so see, like here's a perfect example of why I like to go from the inside out because see how it's really thin right there? It's super easy to get on the other side of that fish's spine. Okay, now we got three sides down of our halibut. I'm gonna flip them around once again. Once again, working from the inside out, tipping my knife down on this side of the back though. And just nice short strokes so I don't leave anything on this halibut. right here above the guts, trying not to go too deep into that gut cavity. And you can kind of just see what your knife will allow you to do. Kind of just gently fold that back. You can avoid the guts altogether, but then you, then you miss a little bit of that belly meat. Yes. All right, there we go. Now we got all four sides of our halibut down. Let's lift this up. You guys see that light shining through? So this is our top half of our shoulder loin right here. Now I'm gonna take my knife. Always, whenever you skin any fish, line up your fillet with the edge of the fillet table. That way your blade can sit flush with the fish's skin and push away from you at a slight angle down on this halibut skin and it really helps you guys see my left hand is trailing the blade so you can really feel what your blade is doing so you're making sure you're not leaving a ton of meat on the skin you know so watch that look here's the skin here's the other side of our halibut there's a reason people really like this fish it's got a minimal bloodline super firm just really good, lean tasting fish with mild flavor. And that's all there is to it. So now if you want, you can just trim this up. So there's these pen bones right here, which we can cut out. They're on both sides of the bloodline. Just go like this. Pen bones on any fish are always gonna be right here. They're gonna attach the fillet to the rib cage and they run about halfway down on most fish. So we just cut out those pin bones, which are right there. And that's all there is to it. Now you guys can portion up your halibut however you want. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in the knife I used today, 8-inch Dexter Flexible Flay. I'm going to have it linked below for you guys. Or you can find it at DexterOutdoors.com. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.